I'm not joking there. It was literally like when I'm on. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Ark, where today we're going and taming up a Deodon. Now, there are two 150s on the map, but they are both females. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go get this one 150 today. And then what I will most likely do is just go get a easy male Deodon to tame. Get him knocked out. Bring him back. And what we'll do is we'll breed this high level one with that one. I'll get a decent level male. I'm not going to go for like a level 10. I'm thinking like at least something above level 80. And uh, yeah, so we'll get them bred together. So that way I have at least two Deodons for the Broodmother fight tomorrow. And yeah, literally the Deodons are the last thing I need to get right now. That is everything else is prepared. I've been doing drops. I found me a very nice Therizino saddle. It's Mastercraft. I mean, I think if I'm correct, I'm, I don't want to say it because I know I will be if I mention the armor rating on it. But yeah, I did get a decent saddle for him. So I no longer have to worry about my fairy saddles. I, I have a good chunk of the resources already. I need to go do another metal run. But now that we got the Rhino Nanthia, that makes the metal run so much easier. All right. Makes everything so much easier. Also, if you guys didn't know, I am currently running a goal for the channel. So as of now, we are trying to get 10,000 subscribers for the channel. And if we're able to do that, I still have no clue what we're going to do. Also, we do have a membership goal. So if you guys didn't know, I'm trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. That's the one where you actually have to pay $1.99 and all that. Um, but once we hit 10 channel members, I will be opening up an ARC server for y'all to go play on. And I can't see a damn thing through these clouds. Oh god, it's 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 dark. <laughs> it is dark. Oh, you can't see a thing. There's supposedly a Deodon somewhere in front of me. Ooh, there's Argentavises. I hear them. I don't see them, though. I can't see a thing. This is why we need uh, creatures with thermal vision. Ooh. Or has somebody made, like, thermal goggles? I know we have night vision. Okay. Okay, so there's two... Okay, Argentavis is taken care of. Now, what I need would need to get is that. Ew, I hit that rock right there next to it. What is that one next to it? I don't even know what level it is. It actually is really nice color though. The pink and green. I think that's a mix of the ho the holidays mixing. I don't know how many tranks this is gonna take, but eventually he is gonna turn and run. And then when that happens, I gotta be careful, cause he might just book it off the mountain. Ooh, I hit the rock. There we go. I keep on hitting that rock. And it's just because I'm trying to go for headshots here because those are the most efficient. He's running. He's running. Chase him! There's a lot of Deodons over in here. No, four, reload. I can just do this off the back of him. I forgot Rhino Nanthi is one of the ones where I can actually use it as a... I can shoot off of its back. Okay, 
No, we gotta get him. That it was complete. That should have hit you. What the heck? Okay, no, like seriously, what the heck's going on? I'm not joking there. It was literally like when I'm on. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What is that thing? It's a Perlovia! And I. <laughs> I screamed. <laughs> I will not lie. I screamed. I don't know where my Deodon went. My Deodon's over here. My dad on is running for his damn life. Her damn life. Forgot it's female. There we go. Last trank knocked it out. Um, <laughs> we got a nice Provolovia jump scare this episode. So, what am I actually going to do here? Is because we do have the possibility, we have the capability of doing it right now. I can. You know, do this. I see a 105. So, you know what we can do? Because I believe that thing's perfectly fine right where it is. It's got a bunch of mammoths protecting it. We can go grab this 105 male. And this should be decent. Because I can just grab the carry. What we do is we carry him back up to the blue ob. So that way it's in at least a safe location and I don't seem to have pissed him off by picking him up I wonder if that's just a thing that happens with the rhino nanthia maybe they just can't bite me although saying that he's gonna probably just start biting the hell out of my rhino nanthia any second they usually do uh, Deodon do not like being picked up I've learned that with Argentavises and Quetzals I don't know actually can Deodon still be picked up with Argentavises I don't think they can maybe I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm just going to be full honest there. Yeah, I got you a free meal. Dang it. Okay, something's off here. Um. He's not biting my rhino Nanthia. I guess I can just sit here and do this. Then we'll go check on that Deodon. I don't think it'd be time for food. I think I gotta let them starve down about a fat. I wish I could actually just shoot him from up here, but watch. If I, where I aim is not gonna be where it hits. I don't even know where that hit him. Look, they're hitting up there on the far right. Got him. Okay, so that one's knocked out. Let's go check on this one. Make sure it's doing good. Okay. Why do I have music? Okay. Music's usually an indication of combat. Which, yeah. Ooh, you got you got messed up. <laughs> Your neck is gonna feel. You're gonna feel that when you wake up. All right. Your neck is bent. Ooh, you're gonna. Yeah, you're 100 feeling that when you wake up. So what I'm gonna do here is all we really have to do now is wait. It's playing the waiting game. That's basically what Ark is: is the waiting game. <laughs> a lot of time. You have to wait for a lot of things to happen. Uh, gotta wait 10 minutes to imprint. So it eventually ends up being an hour sitting there imprinting 10 Therizinos. Jeez. Ended up actually almost being 3 hours because I had to keep on cryopodding them and then they'd get cryo sickness and I don't know how to disable it without getting a cryopod mod. So. Okay, it's time. We have waited long enough. These Deodons have starved up enough. We're gonna split half here. You look at they're almost 
They're almost ready to wake up. Here, you get that 44. I believe that should wake you, get you. I'm gonna sit here and make sure it does. Yeah, you should be fine. You're already at 25. Um, we'll run up there and give that guy him food. I haven't been over by that one. I've been just hovering here. I think some new stuff could have spawned. Definitely new stuff could have spawned over there. You're still hungry. Come on, you're almost done. These mammoths look really wooly, I'm not gonna lie. I love the new hair on all the, you know, mammoths and all that. All the creatures like that. I love it, because they actually look fluffy. Nice, stay it on. Perfect. Okay. Get in the crowd pod. Now we gotta go get that other one and make sure. He shouldn't take as much mutton. He actually should tame up faster. He is a lower level. Yeah, you're going to feel your neck when you wake up as well. He's a bit of a side sleeper. He's munching down this food, though. I really let them starve up quite a bit here. I honestly thought they were going to wake up before long. And then I was, like, actually checking, like... You know, looking at those, and then I actually open up my inventory and check it, because that one actually looks different. So, those little icons, yeah, they're laggy a bit on single player. A lot of things are laggy a bit on single player. Arc was just not meant to be run in single player. Let's just be honest. And here we go. That is our male Deodon. Yeah. Hold up. Seems how he's sitting right there. I'm going to do this route. I, I whistled unfollow. Yeah, he was right where I wanted him to be for a good picture. And then he moved. Actually, he might be fine right where he is now. I'm going to get my thumbnail here. But first, what we're going to do here is my outro. So again, we do have a sub goal and a membership goal. The sub goal is we want to hit 10,000 subs this year. I don't know what we're going to do once we hit 10,000 subs, but I will here eventually come up with something. And we also have our membership goal. So if we are able to hit 10 channel members, I will be opening up an ARC server for y'all to play on. And of course, for channel members, we will also be doing other things. And yeah, this has been Gunshy More, signing off. Peace.